The Bobcats clawed back within five points of the Buckeyes with four minutes left, but couldn't pull off the comeback as they lost 79-69 to Tuesday night at the Schottenstein Center. The Buckeyes started the game hot with a 9-0 lead before a Stevie Taylor jump shot put the Bobcats on the board just under six minutes into the game. Taylor paced the way for the Bobcats with 13 points in the first half, but Ohio State kept a double-digit cushion throughout the half and held a 40-28 lead heading into the locker room. Ohio kept pace with the Buckeyes in the second half and outscored them 41-39. to The Bobcats were fueled by Maurice Endor, who finished with 10 points and 9 rebounds, including two monstrous dunks. Columbus native Nick Kellogg hit clutch shots against his Buckeye buddies, including a three-pointer with 5.32 left to pull the Bobcats within nine points of Ohio State. Kellogg finished with 21 points and was happy to play close to home. Growing up in Columbus and you know, Pops being who he is, this is, I guess this in a sense is home. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, I prefer Athens. <laughs> but. Agreed. Taylor followed Kellogg with an and one to pull the Cats within six and finished with a career high 23 points. I feel like I played well. I mean, we, at the end of the day, we did lose. So we're, I just want to come back and play harder the next game. So this game is behind me. Looking on to the next game. On the Knights, five Ohio players followed out of the game as Ohio State held the free throw advantage, attempting 51 compared to Ohio's 21 attempts from the charity stripe. You know, you have to adjust, you know what I mean? And, and uh, it obviously gives the, the uh, offense a lot of advantages, especially teams, you know, like Ohio State, who have three guys who can, four guys on the perimeter who are constantly coming at you and puts a lot of pressure on your defense. The Bobcats return home in Athens on Sunday against Valparaiso at 2 p.m. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Colin Brown.